Hello and welcome. Let's solve this question on vectors. In the diagram below, the coordinates of point A and B are 1, 6 and 15, 6 respectively. Uh, point N is on OB such that 3ON is equals to 2OB. Line OA is produced to L such that OL is equals to 3OA. Part A, find the vector LN, 3 marks. Then part B, given that point M is on LN such that LM ratio MN is equals to 3 is to 4, find the coordinates of M, 2 marks. Then lastly, part C, if line OM is produced to T such that OM MT is equals to 6 ratio 1, 1, find the position vector of T, 1 mark. Then part 2, show that points L, T, and B are collinear. So let's go to the first part. Uh, the first part you are required to find vector Ln. Vector Ln. So Ln, you need to move from L to N. So vector Ln will be obtained by, so Ln will be obtained by, now we will move from L to O, so L to O, then from O to N, from O to N. Now when you look at these two, do we have LO? Do we have ON? LO, we have it because we already have, uh, there's something that you're given here that is going to help us, uh, that OL is equals to 3 OA. Therefore, LO, LO, we are moving in the opposite direction. It will be, will be negative 3 OA. And what is OA? What is OA? OA is uh, 1, 6. OA is 1, 6. So right there, 1, 6 if you read in column form. So this will give negative 3, negative 18. So that is LO, we'll be able to get LO. What about ON? Uh, to get ON, we're going to use this uh, ratio that is given here. So 3ON, 3ON is equals to 2OB. If we divide both sides to get ON, because we need ON, ON will be, if we divide both sides by 3, we'll get this will be 2 thirds OB, 2 thirds OB. And we already have um, we already have OB, so OB we simply write this one in. We have B as fifteen six in column form fifteen six like that, and this one when you multiply two thirds times fifteen, this will give um, ten, then two thirds times six this will give four. So we have ON. So now having the two, we only need to come here and uh, substitute LO. Now we got LO as negative 3, negative 18. So negative 3, negative 18. And then plus ON. Uh, ON is um, 10, 4. 10, 4, like that. And then from here, we can simply add negative 3 plus 10. And then negative 18 plus 4. Like that. So this one will give negative 3 plus 10, you get 7. Then negative 18 plus 4, you get negative 14. So that is vector Ln. We go to the next one. That is uh, part B. B. So for part B, given that point M is on LN such that LM ratio MN is 3 is to 4, find the coordinates of M. So M is somewhere here such that this ratio LM MN is, um, that ratio is 3 is to 4. This ratio is 3 is to 4. So you're supposed to find the coordinates of M. Now to find the coordinates of M, we simply need to find vector OM, the position vector of M. 
when we find the position vector of m, which is om, we'll be able to get the coordinates of m. So how do we get uh, om, o to m? So can draw that line here. So we need that, o to m, that. So to move from o to m, we can use this root, ol, can use ol, can move from o to l, then from l to m. It's as simple as that. ol plus lm. So ol, ol is given as, we already have it here, ol is 3oa, 3oa, so 3oa. So that is uh, 3 OA and OA. I don't forget the coordinates of A is 1, 6. So that is a 1, 6 like that. Plus LM. LM. Look at that ratio. Since M is dividing LN internally, in the ratio 3 is to 4. Therefore, LM will be 3 over 7. That will be 3 divided by 7 ln, 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 like that. So I repeat, so m is dividing ln internally in the ratio 3 is to 4. Therefore, lm will be 3 over 7 ln. So once we do that, we'll be able to get the solution. Now, uh, OL, this will be 3 times 1, this will be 3. Then 3 times 6, this will be 18. And then plus 3 divided by 7, LN. We already got LN in part A, which is a 7, negative 14, like that. And therefore, uh, this will give 3, 18, plus... 3 over 7 times 7 will be 3. 3 over 7 times negative 14, that will be negative 6. It will be negative 6. And then from here, we simply add negative 3 plus 3. And then 18 plus negative 6, that will be 18 minus 6, like that. And this one will give... Um, Let me see whether we've done it in the right way. So 3 plus 3, I think I wrote the, the wrong thing here. So let me write it again. I'm sorry. So this one will be 3 plus 3, which will give 6. Okay, and then 18 plus negative 6, that will be 18 minus 6, which will be 12. Like that. I think that one is okay. I think that will be very much okay. So we get um, the vector OM. So vector OM, this one is vector OM. That is vector OM. So that is vector OM. So I need to get... I need to get the coordinates. So the coordinates of M will therefore be 6, 12, like that. Because what you got 6, 12 in column form, that is vector. That is vector OM. So that is uh, the coordinate of M. Now we go to the next part. Now for the next part, uh, it is here. If OM is produced to T such that OM MT is equals to 6 is to 1, one, find the position vector of T. So T is produced, OM, OM is produced to T, OM is produced to T, OM is produced to T, so you can produce that. So this is OM that is produced to, to T, like that, so you can, T is there, such that, uh, such that OM MT is 6 is to 1. OM MT, so OM is here, 6, and then this one will be 1, like that. So OM MT, you can see that uh, OM is 6, then MT is 1. 
So you're supposed to find the position vector t. So to get the position vector t, remember position vectors are vectors with reference from point O. So to get the position vector of t, we simply need to get OT. So that is what you're required to get. So from the diagram, how do you get uh, OT? So to get OT, uh, I'll look at this line and I can draw it here. I can draw it here. Then you can see it here. So we have O and then we have uh, M. Then T is produced there. And we're given that this ratio is a 6 is to 1. So since I want to get um, OT, I'm going to use OM. OM is going to guide me very well in this case. So if I want to get, because uh, M divides OT internally in the ratio 6 is to 1. I repeat, M divides OT internally in the ratio 6 to 1. So therefore, if I express vector OM, I'll get OM will be 6 divided by 7 OT. Okay, and uh, from here, from here I can be able to get vector OT if I make OT the subject by multiplying uh, both of these sides. If I multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 6 over 7, that is 7 over 6, I will get OT to be 7 divided by 6 OM. So this is very important. So OM I've started from the internal division, OM, OM will be 6 over 7 OT. Then I make OT the subject, so OT will be 7 over 6 OM, OM, OM. Now from here, uh, OT will be given by 7 over 6 OM. We already have uh, OM. We already have OM. We just calculated OM, uh, part B. OM was uh, 6, 12, 6, 12. So 6, 12, like that. So that means uh, 7 over 6 times 6, you get 7. 7 over 6 times 12, that will give 14. It'll give 14. So the position vector of T, which is OT, is therefore given as 7, 14 as simple as that then the last part uh, the last part you're supposed to show that points lt and b are collinear lt and b are collinear so lt and b so showing that these points are collinear simply means you show that they lie on the same straight line so let me draw it here uh, lt so we have l t and B supposed to show that they are collinear and since we have the coordinates we have the coordinates of L uh, the coordinates of L going to be obtained by OL 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 was we got OL somewhere so OL is here OL is a three actually it is here it is here just look at this uh, OL is three O A and when you multiply this you got 3 times 1 318 so this one will be 318 318 like that so we should write it here this one is 318 318 then t we got the position vector of t uh, do you calculate OT? Ah, it is here. It is here. OT. OT, we got it as 714. So this one is 714. And B, B is already given as 156. 156. Like that. Now, getting the coordinates is very important in the sense that it is going to help us to show that this points are collinear that is they lie on the same straight line there are two things you're supposed to show one you're supposed to form any two vectors using points lt and b i will form this vector that lt is equals to uh, a certain scalar 
scalar exists between the two uh, lb you can form any two vectors any two vectors using the three points so lt is equals to a certain scalar um, lb and then i get uh, lt let me get lt so lt how do you get lt by taking the position vector of t subtract the position vector of l so this is how you get lt lt will be you get the position vector of t which is 7 14 and then you subtract the position vector of l which is 3 18 like that so this one will give 7 subtract 3 you get 4 and then 14 subtract 18 you get negative 4 so that is lt then i can proceed and get uh, lb lb so lb will be given by so lb you get the position vector of b which is a uh, 15 6 then subtract the position vector of l which is 3 18 3 18 like that so this one will give 15 subtract 3 you get 12 then 6 subtract 18 negative 12 it is negative 12 like that so once you've done that now let's go to the next page and then you insert lt so lt remember this is what you're proving lt is equals to the certain scalar lb so lt you already got lt as um four negative four four negative four like that we got it like that then is equals to certain scalar by doing this you want to show that vector lt is parallel to lb when you prove that there exists a common scalar between the two vectors that you formed so lb lb is uh, 12 negative 12 12 negative 12 like that so once we get uniform value of k in both of these then you shall have proof that lt is parallel to lb so this one will give 4 is equals to uh, k times 12 that is 12 k so from this one you get k is equals to a third that is one then you go to the bottom one which is negative 4 is equals to k times negative 12 this will be negative 12 k and therefore k again here will be a third you can see you are getting a common scalar which is a third therefore we can say that lt is equals to a third lb and by showing these that there exists a scalar uh, between lt and lb that means that these two vectors are scalar multiples of each other then it means that lt is parallel to lb that is one way of proving and then another thing that you do uh, is by simply showing that between these two vectors lt and lb there is a common point and l is a common point between the two between the two vectors lt and lb so that is how you solve that question on vectors